disused underground petrol tank has exploded while being dug up at Eastwood in our northwest. And it's made an almighty mess, rocking nearby buildings to their foundations. Georgie Glover is there for us tonight. Georgie, do we know yet what caused this tank to blow? Yes, it's been confirmed that an excavator caused this enormous explosion, which witnesses say sounded like a sonic boom. Now, it happened at Motoring World just behind me here, and the road was closed in both directions as authorities tried to make sure that there wasn't going to be another explosion. But it was thanks to their quick thinking that a real disaster was averted. The deafening explosion sent actual shock waves rolling through Eastwood. The blast so powerful it shattered dozens of windows, some up to 100 metres away. Glass and debris went flying everywhere. We well, certainly came over our radio with the blast. Um, some of our police even got on the radio and said they approved that. Like glass windows and then pretty much the whole front displays that show room that is shattered. Absolutely shattered, so it wasn't like it was a small explosion, it was big. Construction worker Alan Chan had been using an excavator to remove an old fuel tank buried deep underground. Something pushed me very hard and pushed me backwards, but I was still sitting on the excavator and nothing happened to me. Initial investigations indicated the uh, bucket hit the tank and punched a hole in it, which caused a spark, and that uh, resulted in the explosion. Well, like I say, you can't hear nothing after that happens. Five minutes, can't hear nothing. He escaped without a scratch, but no one can believe he even survived. Remarkably, the gentleman that was operating the excavator uh, had no injury. Next door neighbours thought a bomb had gone off. Andrew Choi was just metres away when he ducked for cover. Uh, there was a loud rupture uh, next door and uh, all the windows were shattered in our house. And uh, yeah, my mum's a little shocked, but everything else is fine. Nine people have been treated for minor injuries in a dramatic Friday afternoon they'll never forget. Everyone agrees that it's incredibly lucky that no one was seriously injured, but there's one person in particular who's feeling very lucky, and that is the former owner of Motoring World. Now, just three weeks ago, he had a million dollars worth of cars in the premise next door to where the explosion occurred. Sandra? Thank you, Georgie Glover there.